I don't need to remind you, but I'm going to, that, that this is a very challenging time to be in public education. We know more than ever now uh, what it takes to foster responsible, reflective, critically thinking young citizens, but we don't always have the resources to easily accomplish that goal. So why am I still so excited about being an educator? <laughs> Um, in spite of the lack of resources, my colleagues and I are being encouraged to be creative and thoughtful practitioners of the teaching craft. And uh, the Common Core Standards are, in the words on the, on the website, robust and relevant. Uh, <laughs> and are revolutionizing and rejuvenating, they're all good words, our profession. Now, for those of us who have heard similar claims in the past, I caution us to remember the words of a very wise woman who once said, everything in moderation. By the way, that wise woman is my mother. And um, she and my father happen to have a room here at the Woodlake Hotel today, and so I invited them in, and uh, they're sitting back there, thanks. Hi. <laughs> But I do believe that if we embrace the Common Core without ignoring the, uh, the philosophies and the practices that are or have been working, the future of public education will continue to beam ever brighter. I do believe that. Finally, I'd like to congratulate my fellow Teachers of the Year it's very difficult to get up here after hearing so many incredible <laughs> testimonies about our profession. Um, you are all fantastic. Uh, I'd like to thank each and every colleague, student, friend, and family member who has supported me. And I'm especially grateful to those of you who have joined us here this evening. Thank you.